Hi everyone, and welcome to this tutorial byte for Oxygen Not Included, where we're talking about decor. Decor is a system in the game which reflects how nice a dupe's surrounding is. Decor values can be seen using the decor overlay, which is on the hotkey F8. The system works by tracking the decor a dupe experiences throughout the course of a cycle, and averaging out these values. The average value is then directly linked to a morale bonus, and the higher the average decor experienced, the higher the morale bonus. If below 0, there's no penalty, and above that, the bonuses are as follows. 0 to 30 gives plus 1, 30 to 60 gives plus 3, 60 to 90 gives plus 6, 90 to 120 gives plus 9, and over 120 gives plus 12. Note that as I explained in the tutorial byte for skills of morale, there are more efficient ways to increase morale, and I would recommend investing time in improving decor only once these are covered. You can find this tutorial byte linked in the card. All buildings can provide positive or negative decor, and many are neutral. This is shown in the info card when placing them, and if this is not shown on the card, then it has no decor value. I obviously can't cover every building in the game, but as a general rule, decorations and recreational buildings give strong positive bonuses. Window tiles have their own small bonus, like most tiles, but also let decor pass through them, so it can be used as walls or floors in high decor areas. Most industrial machines have a slight decor penalty, as does loose unswept debris. As a note here, sweeping debris will improve decor, but is often a distraction earlier in the game. I would strongly recommend not sweeping the base until the colony is well established, probably well into the mid-game. Heavy watt wire has a huge penalty, and so should not be run through living areas, instead use transformers. Power systems will be covered in its own tutorial byte. Quickly moving on to materials, some of these have decor benefits which will increase the bonus for positive items and lessen the penalty for negative ones. For metal ores, only copper and gold amalgam give plus 10%. In refined metals, copper gives plus 20% and both gold and niobium give plus 50%. When using minerals, sandstone gives plus 10% while granite and ceramic give plus 20%. I would recommend only considering these decor bonuses for decorative buildings, and for most others you want to consider what is most practical to use especially for machines with overheating temperatures. As the last topic, I wanted to give some useful tips on how to use the decor system to your advantage. Perhaps obviously, you want to keep the decor values high in areas that dupes spend a lot of time in. You can use statues or paintings in your base area and in other common areas such as ladder access routes or stables. Sweep up loose debris out of these areas to remove the decor penalty. For heavy watt wires, avoid running them in the base and there is another trick that I use in terms of power spine placement. I'm demonstrating here in a real base from my most dupes record attempt playthrough, where I have a heavy watt power spine that runs the height of the map. However, rather than put this down the main access ladder and pole, I have a secondary ladder which is offset by at least six tiles. This minimizes the decor penalty experienced on the main transit. So that's all for this tutorial byte about decor and oxygen not included. I hope this was interesting, and thanks for watching.